So, um, my first day of corn was yesterday, July 14th. It was actually a lot, the actual, the physical detasseling is a lot easier to do than the, uh, like the actual detasseling part, like the pulling out the, cor the, the tassel from the corn, really easy. The trudging through mud or going through the field back and forth, back and forth in the heat, the rain or whatever else, that's the hard part. Not because it's not not because it's just uncomfortable, but of course it is. It's more so just the fact that when I'm told corner tasseling is hard, I look at it two ways: the job itself, and just the just the weather or the environment you're in. Because, like grass cutting, for instance, that's what I that's what I did instead of corn for a few years. Um, Grass cutting is a lot easier, not a lot easier than dis than the tasseling corn rather. Um, the actual cutting of the grass, like even just sitting on a lawnmower, going back and forth, even doing any of it, that's really easy. You know what's the hard part is? Waking up at six o'clock, five o'clock in the morning. Okay, making sure everything's working right, making sure you have all the right equipment, making sure you get to the right school on time, making sure you're on time. Getting grass in the face, being way too hot, having to go back and forth with the weed whipper, doing all of that, that part is really hard and uncomfortable. Of course it is. Of course it would be, though. Why wouldn't it be? But that's what I mean. The tasseling the corn itself, that's really easy. Okay? However... The weather, the climate, or the environment you're in it makes it all the much harder. Grass cutting is really easy, but the climate, weather, and the environment you're in makes it all the much harder. So when someone would ask me, what are your thoughts on corn tasseling? I'd say that this exact thing. Corn tasseling itself is really easy as long as you can handle the environment you're in and the weather that 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 area has like if it's raining that day if you can handle a little bit of rain maybe even in your boot if you don't prepare that all that well and like trudge through mud for a day you'll be fine if you can handle hot beating sun baking your backside while you're detasseling corn for a day then you're golden but if you can't that's where you're stuck so if someone will ask me, what are your thoughts on corn tasseling? Corn tasseling itself in itself really easy. Doing all the, like handling the environment though, that part is the difficult part that I don't like, and that's perfectly fine. I don't plan on. I hope to do an entire season, but I don't want to do more than like two or three weeks at tops. Probably only like two weeks. And even at that, yeah. But my thoughts on the first day. First day, we had an incredibly long field. One row is about an hour to do. And that is with us having boosts, which is basically just someone telling us to go forward this many steps. And then they'll do the rest for you behind you so you can catch up to the rest. That way there's not you're not just doing like three hours per row. And um, yeah. But the way it works is... You'll get to the location that they tell you to drop off. Just hang out with your friends for a minute while until your uh, instructors get there. And then when they bring out the bins to get the hat and stuff, just listen to what they say. Just just listen to what they say. Honestly, just in general, listen to what they say. But the rest of it, just, yeah. Just get what you need and then get on the bus you're instructed to. So, for instance, for me, for the company I work for, there's a blue bus, there's a red bus, and then there's the vans for the boosters and the uh, instructors. Um, the boosters are basically just younger instructor instructors that help, like, specifically with you. It's like if you have one teacher that's in the classroom teaching all of it, and then there's another teacher going around specifically helping the kids who have a much harder time. 
that's what the boosters are. Not to say they're only helping the people with the harder time, but they're helping the people who are slower help catch up. So you'll go through the field. Now, people love to say for the corn itself, to tasseling it, that it's a flower. It's not a flower in of itself. I'm going to take these off because I don't need them. I just realized that. That is probably dumb. Um, here's the thing. It's not a flower on top. There, there's a bit of corn, okay? It looks like corn, normal. It looks like the green corn. Not like the corn on the cob, but it looks like the green corn. The very top, you'll see a... Almost like an unopened flower. So in the sense it is a flower, but not like a blooming rose or daisy. More in the sense of like when the flowers close up. And so like when a flower's like this, it's nice and open, right? Well, the things are like the tass the tassels are like this. They're like a flower that's closed. You want to grab it at the base and rip it out. But make sure, and they'll tell you this, but make sure you rip, you just pull it out with a nice pop and like, Almost like a, yeah, pop. And a lot of kids like to say it sounds like someone tooting. But what it also sounds like is just squeaking. It'll squeak against the rims of the corn and then it'll hear a pop. You'll pop it out. Then you've got it. And if you don't think you did, just look. And if you see a little broken knob down here like this, just take it at the base and rip it out. And if it's just a hole... Like, one of those, um, I can't remember what they're called, but they're, like, the flowers. Like, if it looks like this, you're fine. Because it all came out. Um, yeah. Today, shorter day, but I had to wake up at 5. I don't like waking up at 5. That's uncomfortable for me. I really, I really despise waking up any earlier than, like, 6 for work. Or even 7. I, I love 7. I love 7 or 8. That's my favorite times. S 6 o'clock... Doable. I do it every day for school, but hard. Five is like I have to be there for a reason. Otherwise, I'm not there. So, yeah. And then the rest of it is pretty self-explanatory. Today, I had to work in rain, and I wore splash pants. All that stuff basically just completely covered myself. I was sweating buckets but I was dry, and that, to me, was all the worth it. Until about an hour later, when I was just extremely tired and wanted to fall over, even if it meant getting soaking wet. There was, it, the, the corn fields are like hills. I got the middle one that had like a divot from the wheel, and also had the area that was like, there's a little middle part where all the water collects, and that part right here, I was right there when I was thinking that, so I would literally fall into, like, a pool there. Past that, um, I don't know, um, yeah. Corn in of itself is really easy. The environment, I love, I hate it. I despise it completely. And I'm not in corn as, like, a full job. I don't plan on being there the whole season if it's any more than two or three, two, two and a half weeks. I don't even plan on being there three. If it's any more than two weeks, I'll probably either stop the t second week or stop a week in when I'm, like, I've, I'm, I've had enough. I might just do that because, yeah. But, I mean, maybe I'll stick it out. Maybe I can force myself to stay the whole time and say, hmm, Putting a motorcycle back on the road is worth uh, staying and suffering in a field for a, a day. A day longer. Because one more field is a little bit more closer to putting that motorcycle back on the road. And that's my initial goal. Because I want to be motorcycling on my own bike in South Dakota 2026. Which hopefully I'm done this series by then. But if not, oh well. Uh, yeah, this is all I want to talk about. Uh, tomorrow I'm really hoping I get the day off, but it honestly doesn't look like I am. I really do want it, though, because I don't think I can do another day, and if I do do another day, I might literally fall apart. Either way, um, yeah, that's all I have to talk about. Um, I don't know what else to talk about. Um, yeah, also, uh, when you get done a row, um... They talk to us about this. At least every sorry, everywhere is different. But for us, when you get done a row, they'll probably either instruct you to or you should just 
initially go bail someone out, which is basically just work, go into another row, which you know has a person, and then work towards them until you both meet, which is bailing someone out. Basically, they're not fast enough, which is fine, unless they're too slow, and they're just holding you back, but you have to go bail them out, because then you can speed things up and get home faster, because everyone likes to be home, so... Past that. Nothing really. Um, yeah. I don't know what else to say. I do and don't like corn. But, yeah. Um, remember, if you do, make sure to subscribe. A lot of you aren't subscribing. I don't understand why. I'm a small creator. I'm trying to make money. Help me not have to do corn. Help me upload more videos more frequently. Help me have more time off to do this. Okay? I'm just saying, if you just click a button, it's not like you're may it's not like you're paying me yet. Or at all. Subscribing is this isn't a subscription you have to pay for. Subscribing to my YouTube channel or either of them is literally cl just clicking it just like licking the like button. It just tells YouTube you like my content, you're willing to stick around, and if I hit a certain amount of subscribers, I can make money. So as far as you're concerned, subscribing is actually just telling me you like watching me and you're willing to put in the time to watch me. You're not willing to put in the time. You want to put in the time to watch all my videos by subscribing to know when I upload once a blue moon. Either way, subscribe. Maybe you don't. I don't know. If you don't subscribe, you'll know because I'll probably not stop, but I'll stop uploading as much. Maybe once a year. I don't know. Bye.